Breakups can be a difficult thing to get over, particularly when it's a comet moving towards the sun that breaks apart right before everybody's getting ready to see it. <sighs> comet Atlas, you had such potential. But thankfully, there's a new comet in the neighborhood, and it goes by the name of Comet Swan. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at what you need to do to see this comet from your own backyard. We're going to start by looking at a simulation I found on nasa.gov that shows the path Comet Swan is taking through our inner solar system. It makes its closest approach to the sun on May 27th before quickly traveling back out of the solar system. Now let's move on to where you need to look to find this comet. You're going to want to go outside just before sunrise around 4.30 a.m. and face east-northeast. We can see on the Sky Safari app how Comet Swan climbs higher in the horizon as we move from early to mid-May, with its closest approach to Earth being May 12th. Depending on how bright it gets during its closest approach, we may need to use binoculars or a telescope to view it during this time. As it reaches its highest point in late May, we're going to zoom in to see what bright stars it's near to help us find it. Our first star is going to be Algol on May 20th. This is one of its highest points above the horizon and would be a nice morning to attempt an observation. Another bright star is going to be Capella, but on this date it is already moving back down towards the horizon as it moves away from the sun and begins to leave the solar system. This is going to be a difficult comet to see for those of us in the northern hemisphere, but your best opportunity will be mid-May, just before sunrise. If you're able to view or image Comet Swan, please like this video and let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for your support, and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.